just heard Bobby play uh, Promenade, the first part of um, Mussorgsky's score, Pictures at an Exhibition. You, at the end of my talk, you will he hear the whole score. But first, I would like to talk about um, the co composer's inspiration and the connection with the artist that inspired him. Um, I will briefly be talking about their backgrounds. And then Bobby and I will take you on a tour through the score. Um, with uh, visual and musical descriptions. And um, as I said, at the end, you will be treated, you can relax and sit back and enjoy the whole score of pictures at an exhibition. The next image um, has been attributed to Hartmann, but it is not quite sure if it is really is by him. But it, it, it shows something that he might have, the way he might have sketched in Poland. It's a Polish town, and we see here a scaffold and Russian uh, soldiers. Maybe it's all speculation, but I think we can agree that it is one of the most melancholic and Russian of pieces, um, with a thick, <coughs> ponderous left-hand chords representing the rumbling of the wheels. It's set against a folk-like melody uh, sung by the cart drivers. Now, listening to the music, I myself had ver felt very moved and inspired by the sound of the cart dying away and made this print. This brooding promenade with an almost hymn-like feel before the chicks begin to hatch subjects the original material to greater change. Mussorgsky makes no attempt for a modulatory interlude between the G-sharp of Bidlow and the F of chicks. Instead, he turns the, the music to the key of D minor. At the, at the end, chicks is anticipated as Mussorgsky converts the dominant note of D into the median of F. Ballet of the Unhatched Chicks. In 1870, Hartmann designed the costumes for the ballet Trilby at the Marinsky Theatre. And um, he, little boys and girls were dressed as canaries in eggs. There were 17 designs in the exhibition catalogue, and the music is very descriptive of little um, chicks trying to uh, get out of their shells. And we move here from the darkness of Bidlow into the light, from deep bass clef to high transparent writing. The peasant's toil is contrasted with the carefree world of privileged children. The effective percussive high piano sounds represemble the tapping of the, uh, of the chicks against the shells and the difficult triple P trills represent in a wonderful way the tiny fluffy feathers as the chicks totter around. <laughs> <laughs> 